Welcome to another video from Double O Rail. In this video, we're going to take a look at the changes we made for the second part of the APT driving trailing car restoration. And this is an ongoing part of the APTP uh, restoration project. And in the first part, you may remember that we uh, tinted the windows, cleaned the car, and just uh, overall improved the aesthetic look from it. And as you can see, the windows are, are pretty cool with the, the tinted look with the paint. Um, if you didn't see that video, if you go to our main channel, uh, which is youtube.com slash 77 and click on the APTP uh, project playlist, you'll be able to uh, find the video there. So in the second part, um, we wanted to put directional lighting into the APT. Um, the driving and trailing cars, uh, typically we're using uh, an old uh, filament bulb and it was just white and basically it, it just went one way so if you were going forwards it was lit if it was going backwards there was just uh, no light um, so this is not actually prototypical on an APT you'd have the uh, halogen lights uh, going forward which are kind of a yellowish whitish kind of color and then when the train was going in the opposite direction those lights would change from from yellow white to um, to a red so unfortunately LEDs are the best way to do it, but white LEDs are just too white. Um, so we went with a yellow LED, and as you can see here, it's lit pretty well. Um, I used a 220 ohm resistor. Um, however, I, I'd suggest using something a little bit less, maybe a, a 100 ohm resistor, um, just to allow the, the light to come off a little better with the yellow. As you can see there, it's a, a little dimmer than it probably should be. But overall, it, it works pretty well, and um, once the power range on the uh, transformer hits about 10%, uh, the light comes on and it stays pretty consistent uh, through the range. It does get a little brighter between 60 and 80%, um, but it's not really noticeable. So overall it gives you a pretty stable light as opposed to what was on the old filament bulbs. As you applied more power, it would kind of gradually increase. So it's, a, it's not a bad um, trade-off. So I'm gonna go and demonstrate the uh, directional lighting on it and it's pretty simple I'm just going to walk over to the controller and switch the direction and you'll see that the, the lights will change. So as you can see now it's uh, currently going in forward and now it's in reverse and you can see it's glow in red. We switch it back to forwards and then switch back to reverse. So you switch it forwards Switch to reverse, forward, and then reverse. So, what we're going to do next is uh, basically just walk you through the changes that we did to it. And um, really, it's not that difficult of a change to make. Uh, you need some um, basic electrical tape, um, some kind of knife. I used a Swiss Army knife, a soldering iron a 220 ohm resistor and two square LEDs. So um, what I actually used was this is uh, some 22 gauge wire. Uh, you can use uh, Google or something like that to figure out uh, what that is in, in English but um, here in the States this is a 22 gauge wire. It's actually a little thick um, so I'd suggest maybe using a, a slightly thinner wire like a 24 gauge wire. Um, basically you need to cut up a couple of strips of that, strip it down on either side, tin it, and then um, basically remove all the wiring from the uh, from the original APT. Um, here are the uh, 220 ohm resistors. I would stay with the 220 ohm resistor for the red. As you can see there, the red LED is, is pretty decent with the 220 ohm. However, I'd go a little smaller with the um, with the yellow LED. And you can see here, here's the uh, rectangular LEDs that we used. And you can see there the, um, the actual model. And if I flip it over the back here, you can actually see the type of LED that we used. This is the red one. And you can see there it's pretty straightforward. It's a red or square. LED. And then the yellow one is pretty much the same thing. If I uh, 
pull it back here, you can see. It's a little hard to see in the plastic there, but the regular square LED, you may be able to take it out. Here you can see there, it's a, uh, it's a bit hard to get the focus on the camera at the top, but it's a regular square LED. And then again, here's the specifications for it. Okay, so um, we'll just uh, show you the inside of the APT and exactly what we did. Um, so here is basically the changes that we did. Uh, you can see we removed the interior pink thing and this doesn't seem to have any impact on the uh, tilt or the weight of the train. Um, so you can just easily discard that. And basically you can see we removed all of the original wiring. Uh, to remove the wiring, uh, what we did was we cut the diode off the uh, one end and then we pulled the uh, two little metal prongs that were holding the bulb in and then removed the bulb. And then basically from the underneath here, we um, pulled the wires in from underneath and they were pretty easy to remove. Uh, you do have to desolder them from the uh, metal contacts on the underneath of the APT. And then we basically assembled um, each section. So we took a um, wire, cut a small strip of wire, soldered it to one end of the resistor, and we did cut the resistor pins in half. That's perfectly safe to do, and there's no polarity on the resistors. And then we wired the resistor to the long leg of the LED. And then we wired a wire directly to the short leg of the LED. And then basically took the the long leg of the, or the resistor end, which is now the long end of the LED, and the um, wire connected to the short end, and we put them across each of the tracks, each of the rails of the track here, and we basically applied power to determine exactly what the direction was. So once we determined which way was forwards and which way was back using the controller. Um, we soldered those together. So basically we duplicated the, the yellow LED and red LED, but we flipped them. So the short pin of the yellow LED is wired to the resistor end of the red LED, and the short end of the yellow LED is wired to the resistor end of the red LED. So they're basically just to reverse. And the reason for that is obviously LEDs only work one way. So when you're going forwards, you want the yellow LED to light up. When you're going backwards, you want the red LED to light up. So once you figured out the direction for the yellow, you just flip it the opposite direction for the red and solder it up. And then what we did was we ran wires, uh, which were stripped on both ends, but soldered only on one end, up through the um, underneath here, so if I flip this over you'll see there's the uh, two contacts, there's little two holes there you can see and we basically fed the wires up through there. Now one thing we did do was we um, made the wires on this side, the stripped end, pretty long just so that they could act as a secondary connector um, to touch the wheels there to get power and then we basically fed it up through there and there's a little notch you can see right there and you just run the wire through there and you do have to make sure there's enough slack on the wires so that they will go around the corners and it does take a bit of stretching but it does work and we did have to get adjust this a few times to make sure that it didn't derail but it seems to work pretty okay This is pretty much all we're going to do for now to the trailing and driving cars. We're going to repeat this whole process on the other driving car and then we'll do a test. Um, but there is plenty of space in here since we pulled out um, some of the other stuff uh, like these seats. So we're probably going to put some electrical tape in there 
maybe put some additional electronics in here for uh, doing some cool stuff in a future project. So just to uh, recap, we had two wires that we fed up through either side. Um, on this left hand side here, we soldered the wire connected to the short end of the resistor to the long end of the yellow LED and then a wire to the short end to the wire coming on the right hand side and then we wired a wire connected to the resistor connected to the long pin of the red LED to the right hand side and then wired the short end of the red LED to a wire to the left hand side. And the left hand side and right hand side are connected to both LEDs. The left hand side, as I said, was connected to the resistor or long pin side of the yellow LED and the short pin side of the red LED. And the right hand side, it was connected to the long end or resistor end of the red LED. And the other side was in the short end of the yellow LED. And that's what gives you the directional lighting. So we'll uh, let you see it a few more times. Uh, I'll put the thing back together. Now one thing I should point out is uh, you can see there's a bit of light pollution right there coming out through the center. That's because this thing isn't completely pushed all the way down. Um, if you get that and it's still a problem, uh, you can just use a bit of masking tape on the back end of that connector, uh, that clip that goes in there, and that will uh, fix that particular problem.